Hi booktube, Lynette here again and I am going to talk to you in this video about the books I plan to read in May. Um, I'm hoping that while um, I'm filming this you're not picking up any background noise. Um, unfortunately my neighbour literally just as I hit play uh, record has decided to start playing some music rather loudly so I'm hoping the microphone isn't picking it up. Also hopefully you'll notice a change in the lighting of this video. Uh, because I have also bought a miniature ring light that clips onto my phone so I'm hoping that uh, I'm slightly better lit. It's a bit grey here today, um, it's the last day of April and it's a bit rainy and grey so I've got the curtains open and I've got the ring light on so I'm hoping that the lighting has slightly improved and I'm not quite so yellow. So May TBR, um, it's a bit ambitious this month uh, but I know that there is no way I'm going to achieve everything that's on it. I know that at least three of the books that are on it are going to be finished, but the rest of the books uh, are ongoing books, so um, I may not get through them all, but I'm hoping to at least make progress with at least three of them. <clears throat> so hopefully May's uh, wrap-up will be a bit shorter than April's and I won't have to split it down. So, as usual, uh, I have a book to read for the In Death Read Along, and this book is Ceremony in Death by J.D. Robb, as they all have. This is book five in the In Death series, and this will be the fifth month that I'm doing the In Death Read Along. As I've explained before, uh, the In Death Read Along is just the aim to read one book from the In Death series every month of 2020. If you read more, you read more, but the aim is to just read one a month. There are 50 books in the series and the publication date for book 51 has been announced for early next year as well. So uh, there, I've got quite a lot of catching up to do, but I am really enjoying it and I'm looking forward to finding out what book, whole, book five has in store for Eve and Rourke. Also, I'm continuing with the Romanceopoly read along that I've been doing in 2020. I have put myself down for three books in May. However, uh, at the time of filming this, it's the 30th of April and I'm halfway through the read-along week that they're doing, read-a-thon week that they're doing. And so far, I've not even finished one book. I'm very close to finishing the first book. But I had four on the TBR and I'm not sure if I'm going to finish all four now. I thought I could, uh, but I've got a lot of reading to do in the next few days uh, to do that. So anything from that readathon will be carried over. I can't tell you uh, which ones will be carried over because I don't know yet, um, but I do know that I will finish the Spring Square uh, and I will possibly get onto Rainbow Row. Unfortunately, Rainbow Row is a genre I don't normally read, so that is causing me some concern. Um, so I've set myself, I've rolled the dice for another three squares. Um, and I am hoping that I can get through three of those. Um, if not, I've only set myself the goal of actually finishing two books. If I finish the whole of the readathon, um, or if I have the readathon to carry over, then I'm only setting myself the goal to finish two of the three books that I've set myself. So the books that I have actually set myself for for Romanceopoly in May is. Kane's Reckoning by Sarah McCarty, and this took me up to Passion Place. I then rolled the dice and landed on Drive In Movie, and for Drive In Movie, I'm going to read Controversial Princess by Jodie Ellen Malpas. And the final roll took me to Journey's End, and for Journey's End, I'm going to read Eidolon by Grace Draven. So those are the three books that I um, have set myself, two of which. I'm aiming to finish obviously Passion Place and Drive-In Movie because those are the next two squares on the board. I'm trying to read them all in order so that uh, I don't get behind and get confused um, with where I am. So then I've set myself the challenge to try and finish a classic in May and I started reading David Copperfield in February I think and I'd only got 15 pages in it. I've read a few pages in April so I'm going to continue on with that one and hopefully I can make good progress with it, if not finish it, in May. I also want to make progress with two audiobooks that I have going. I have A Clash of Kings going, 
um, by George R. R. Martin. Um, I'm not sure how far into it uh, because unfortunately the um, Audible doesn't give you a percentage or at least not that I found on my phone anyway. And also I am using the bind up of the five books on my Kindle to track my progress with Bookly. And then that only gives me the progress through the five books, not through the individual books. So I'm not quite sure how far into it I am. But it's um, it's nearly 40 hours of audiobook. And I think I've listened to about 10 to 15 hours of it so far. So I've still got quite a way to go through that one. Um, but I want to make a few more hours progress, even if it's just 10 hours progress. Uh, unfortunately, I need to listen to it in large chunks to make progress on the Kindle version um, because the percentage is really quite low on that. And the other audiobook that I have in progress is Soulless by Gail Carragher, uh, which again is one that I started, I think, in early March on my walks to work. It's one that seems to be quite fast going. It's a romance novel. I'm not really too sure... Um, how far into it I am yet. I think it's a romance slash urban fantasy, but it's historical as well. So there's lots of different genres in there um, and they all seem to be quite interesting. Um, so it's, uh, I think there's vampires and there's all sorts of other fey creatures um, and paranormal creatures involved. Um, so I'm quite looking forward. Again, I'm not very far into it, so I would like to make a few more hours progress with that one. So also a few days ago, I saw that Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes has announced round 11 of Tome Topple Readathon that she hosts. And this is to be held in May. And I believe it's being held from the 9th to the 22nd of May. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that one. I have set myself four books for that. And... Um, I know I'm not going to read all four books. All of them are at least 550 pages. I think one of them is just under 600. Two of them are just over 600 and one of them is potentially 800 pages. Uh, so it will really depend on how it goes. So the first book I've put myself down to read for the Tome Topple is The Dragon Reborn by Robert Jordan. This is book three of his Wheel of Time series. Uh, I've just, in the last few days, finished book two. Um, I wanted to pick up book three straight away, but I had a couple of other books I wanted to finish instead, and then I was straight into the readathon for Romanceopoly. So we'll see how this goes. Um, so I'm, as you can see, I've already got a book. I haven't started it. That's just on page one of the story. Um, and as you can see, it's quite a hefty book. Um, I think it's actually, like I say, it's over 600 pages. It's 626 pages. I know that if I pick this one up for Tome Topple, I am not going to finish it uh, during those two weeks. But I could get, I reckon I could get 100 to 150 pages into it, at least. I'm finding these books very slow going. And I'm struggling to remember why I enjoyed them so much. I read these around about the time that book five of the series was released. Because I remember I had to wait for books six, seven and eight. And six, yeah. Um, no, um, I had to wait. Sorry, I started reading these around about when book six came out. Um, and I flew through them all first time around. And I was waiting for book seven, eight and nine for release. And then I got part way through book nine and I put it down and never picked it up again. And then I unhauled all the books a few years ago. Um, and then recently at the start of this lockdown, I actually, I had all, I had the first five already, which I bought right at the beginning of this year. Um, and then I bought all the rest of the series. So I had them all to read. Um, but yeah, I'm struggling to remember why I enjoyed them so much and why I flew through them so quickly, but yeah, I, I thought I'll give that one a go. I'll I'll hold it back for Tome Topple or if I don't get to it in Tome Topple, if I decide to pick up the other books instead, then I'll have this to pick up afterward, maybe towards the end of May. So my other options for the Tome Topple Readathon is an actual series of books that I want to pick up and I've been wanting to pick up for a few months now. 
and that is the Tawny Man series by Robin Hobb. This is the third of her ser five series set in the realm of the Elderlings and it's the second series that features Fitz and the Fool. I've got to start right at the beginning of this series because I finished the Live Ship Traders um, a few months ago and really, really enjoyed it. I wanted immediately to move on, but I thought I might burn myself out. And I really struggled with Robin Hobb's fourth series in the Realm of the Elderlings and never finished it. But I was going through a huge slump at the time, so uh, it is understandable. But yes, the first book is Fool's Errand. Um, and this one is 593 pages. I love Robin Hobb's writing and it's entirely possible that I could finish one of the three books in this series during Tone Topple and I think it quite likely I could get on to at least the second one. Um, ideally, I'd love uh, in that week um, because apparently my furlough is extended to the 22nd of May, um, although I may be called back earlier depending on what happens uh, with production um, in the UK. But... Ideally, I'd love to finish the whole series in that week. I'm, I'm not sure if I can do it, but I'm going to give it a try. So that's my TBR for May. Um, I hope you've all got solid reading plans for May. Uh, if you have, let me know in the comments below and I'll talk to you all down there. And I hope the lighting's really good in this video. I'll find out when I come to editing. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.